Good day and welcome to our short unboxing, review and benchmarking of the Dell uh, Latitude 7400. There's nothing much to look at on the box here other than uh, the label which tells you in this case we're running an i5 at 256 gig. Uh, so let's uh, take a look. So all I've done with this so far is crack the tape. Uh, so I'm just going to pop this open because it's just easier to do without having you on camera. Okay, so let's pull this out. What do we have here? We have um, uh, well, this is your typical 65 watt charger, right? AC adapter with a um, type C connector. We have a plug for it. This typical North American plug, nothing exciting there. Let's get rid of that. Then in the box, we have a piece of cardboard, which is just packing material garbage. And let's pull it out. And here's the fun part. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of the box. This serves no purpose. Warranty and safety, Latitude 2-in-1 instructions. Uh, okay, so looking at the uh, Latitude 2-in-1 instruction manual, all it tells us really is that when you plug into the back port, the uh, power LED will come on in the front. whoop de do. And let's see here, power ports, USB ports, so on and so forth. Thunderbolt, nothing really exciting here. Okay, so let's get rid of that. Now let's take this out, packaging. Okay, so let's open this up and let's uh, get it plugged in. Nothing too exciting there. Back, there we go. And indeed, as shown, uh, you can't see it. There it is. The uh, LED comes on in the back. Let's try a different power port, a different uh, Type C port. Let's see if the same, yep, it's charging off of there as well. And I believe there's, yeah, there's a micro, there's a micro over here. So let's just take a look. So here we have uh, an SD card slot, uh, USB three super speed slot. Uh, we have a uh, Kensington lock uh, around the back here. We have really nothing interesting other than some vents. Let's get rid of that charger. Then here we have USB 2, uh, sorry, USB uh, 3.1 Type-C, USB 3.1 Type-C, uh, and uh, another, um, uh, sorry, an HDMI, and another USB uh, Super Speed on the back. Really nothing too exciting here. Again, pretty straightforward, although it does look like it's very easy to disassemble, and uh, we will do that as well. So, uh, but uh, actually, let's do that right now. Let's just pull this apart, and we'll just take a quick look at it. Okay, so it looks like there's a couple of pry points around here, but uh, I found it easiest just to go to the back here and pull up one of these screws. So anyway, so that's what I've done. And this just pops off. Let's just take a look at what's in here. Uh, nothing interesting in the uh, in the back. These. Okay, so here we have a 52 uh, kilowatt, well, uh, 52 watt hour uh, battery. This is the smaller of the two batteries that are uh, available for it. We have two speakers that are uh, that are here. We have the CPU fan with a uh, heat pipe that uh, takes it out to here uh, to cool it off. The CPU is obviously under there. Uh, this is the M.2 slot, which is where the uh, hard drive is. I can just barely, I don't want to pry it up and show you more than that. It looks like the memory must be either jammed underneath this plate. Okay, so let's pop this. Okay, so uh, this clips in a little differently than what you might expect, and uh, you won't be able to get in unless you do it properly. So the uh, front have hooks. I don't know whether you can see those clearly or not, but they are hooked in, so you need to hook it in the front. And I thought, same for the sides, uh, well, sorry, I thought the sides were just clipped in, but they're not. They also have hooks. So what you need to do is put it in this way. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to start here, tip it in a little bit, and tip it down and slide it forward. Okay, so the most interesting uh, uh, thing on this uh, laptop is the new hinges. These are hinges that they have not used before, these drop hinges, and uh, they had to adjust the antennas and a bunch of other things to make this work. This is a 14-inch uh, screen, and you can see there's virtually no bezel on it. It's very, very thin, um, and it's, uh, they, it's about, well, they claim, and I'm, I think it is, about 25% smaller than its predecessor. It's as uh, small, as thin as you can get. Um, it also comes with an infrared camera, which is great for Windows Hello. 
and a backlit keyboard. Uh, we opted for the i5. Uh, the odd thing with this is it's the 8th gen, even though this is their newest uh, laptop in this line. It's the 8th gen, not the 9th gen. And um, if you're watching the news in the Intel world, you'll know that uh, the 10th generation uh, chips are already on the move. They're not going very well, but they are on the move. So releasing a product with the, with the previous gen chip is a bit odd, but uh, I'm sure it'll be very fast. Let's go uh, power it up and benchmark it. So now we have the machine up. This is a Strip uh, Windows 10 64 Professional. What I'm going to do is uh, connect it to the internet. I'm going to download the patches for it and I'm going to download NovaBench and then we will benchmark it in just a moment. So while we're installing NovaBench and the patches, let me tell you a little bit more about uh, the product. So this is obviously a touch screen. Dell sells two active uh, pens for this, active styluses. There's one that comes in at uh, 2K, then another one comes in at 4K. And when I'm talking about K, I'm talking about resolution, not the price. One's about 50 bucks, a cheaper one, the other one's about 75 bucks. This entire laptop came in uh, uh, because it's a corporate laptop, uh, and I don't want to uh, release that information, the details, but I can tell you it came in at uh, uh, well below $2,000 uh, Canadian. Um, so for easy math, because uh, the dollar's in the tank right now, it's about 1500 US. Uh, this is the smaller battery, not the larger battery, and it is the uh, i5, not the i7, um, but it um, has all of the core functionality. Okay, so that's moving along smartly. That's the uh, patches. Uh, let's go set up, uh, just so you can see it, let's set up uh, Windows face recognition. Oops, wrong one. So uh, it's called Windows Hello. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, change account settings, and then go to sign in options. And uh, you need to have a password. If you don't have a password, it'll tell you you need to get one. Let's click uh, Windows face recognition and set up. And uh, I've used this on lots of laptops. It works very, very well. So let's get started. It always likes to have a pin. Set up a pin, you have to enter your password. As you can see, mine's nothing because I'm gonna wipe this machine. This is not a real setup, so. And you probably wanna tilt your head, get it on different angles, move the screen, and just play around in general. Okay, so that's enough for now. Okay, so let's see how this thing benchmarks. Now we're gonna run this uh, three times. I should always run it three times. In this case, I'm running it with Defender still turned on uh, because I forgot to turn it off, but I'll turn it off in the next iteration. <laughs> and uh, I'm not gonna make you sit here and watch it. Let's, uh, I'll speed this up. Okay, so let's see how this one's doing. So that's, that's all right. That's uh, 1487, so let's call it 1500. Let's look at the uh, CPU score. So there we go. Now I'm going to go turn off uh, Defender here. And your settings off. There we go. Let's run this again. This will be faster the second time regardless because it's always faster the second time. 1542. Let's run it again. Okay, so you can see here the uh, speeds are very nice. Uh, really nothing to... Uh, Nothing to uh, scream about here. Um, uh, I don't think there's anything that I would want with this that I would don't already have. So the uh, disk speeds are very fast. The uh, CPU speeds are also very fast. Now when I say very fast, I'm comparing them to, well, specifically the disk score, disk score I'm uh, comparing to the one terabyte Crucial P1, which is one we've tested extensively in previous videos. Uh, and the CPU score, that's about as fast as the uh, CPUs that are included with the uh, i5s in the Dell Optiplex 5070s, which are brand new, and um, also the previous year's model of the Dell 5490 laptop, the Latitude. Um, yeah, so basically there's nothing wanting with this, so you should be very happy with it. Okay, so before we wrap this up, let's go over the highlights. So this is an all aluminum chassis, which uh, brings the unit in at 2.9 pounds. Uh, it is a 14 inch laptop uh, screen that's in a 13 inch package. Uh, Dell claims that there's virtually no bezel, uh, as you can see here. Um, there is a fair amount of bezel still at the bottom, but it's nitpicking, it's excellent. Um, nothing to worry about there. It's very, very fast. And the infrared camera uh, is great for Windows Hello. Uh, and that's about it. If you have any questions, please get a hold of us at www.uartech.ca. Thank you. Bye-bye.